Hamish and Misty Moo's Midnight Adventure. By Susan McElroy. Hamish was a handsome Highland bull. He had thick curly hair and large horns. Misty Moo was a pretty Highland cow. They lived at Binder Twine Lane Farm. There were also chickens and geese and pigs and sheep on the farm. In the winter they had big bales of hay to eat. In the spring and summer they munched on the sweet grass in the pasture. They were very content. But Misty Moo was very inquisitive and sometimes she stood by the fence and wondered where the road led. After supper, the fox would slide by to see if any sheep had been left out of the barn. He'd call out to Hamish on his way. Hello, Hamish, the Highland. He always wore a fox grin. Good evening, fox. Hamish would reply and wave his horns. One day, the fox stopped. Full moon coming, Hamish, he called out. I'm going to the big bay to see it. Hamish tossed his head and pawed at the ground. He didn't know what the fox was talking about. Hamish snorted. Misty Moo said, where's the big bay? The fox crept closer. It's where the water touches the sky, he said. The moon sleeps there. Hamish found his voice. I've seen the moon. It lives over the hill. The fox laughed. No, he whispered. The moon lives in the big water and it rises up over the hill. You can't see it because you have to stay behind the fence. Misty Moo pushed at the fence with her nose. She wanted to see the big water and where the moon lived. Hamish, is this true? The fox waved his bushy tail. If you don't believe me, ask Groundhog. Hamish didn't trust Fox, so he went to find his old friend who lived in the hill. Groundhog, he called, stamping his hoof. Groundhog, wake up! A wrinkled nose popped out of the hole and sniffed. <laughs> Hamish, what do you want? Groundhog, where does the moon live? In the big water, the rodent replied. But you can't go there, Hamish. It's on the other side of the fence. Hamish pawed at the grass. He'd never been on the other side of the fence, but Misty Moo wanted to see where the moon lived. Hamish snorted and stomped again. Tell me, Groundhog, how to find the big bay. Groundhog pulled himself out of his hole and waddled over to Hamish. All right, I'll tell you, but it's a dangerous journey and you'll have to be home before dawn or Farmer Mark will come looking for you. Hamish listened carefully. Misty Moon was excited to see Hamish return. Did Groundhog tell you where the moon lives? Are we going? Yes and yes, Hamish sighed. When? asked Misty Moo as she danced around the barnyard, kicking and shaking her horns. Tonight, Hamish replied. The two stood by the fence and waited for the sun to dip behind the trees. Finally, it grew dark and the soft night sounds began. The owls hooted in the woods and the frogs in the pond croaked. The wind whispered through the leaves on the trees and rustled the long grasses beside the road. Hamish turned to Misty Moo. All right, let's go. Follow me and stay close. Hamish put his head down on the fence and walked forward. The board groaned and creaked. Hamish pushed harder. Suddenly there was a crack. The fence was broken. Hamish and Misty Moo stepped out onto the road. Their adventure had begun. The two walked for a long time. They could see Fox was following them in the long grass. They passed many farms and barns. Three pigs stood in a pen by the road. They snuffled and snorted when they saw the highlands. You have big horns, one said. You have very curly hair, said another. Where are you going, called the third. We're going to find the moon, Misty Moo replied. Hamish said nothing. At last they came to a crossroad. Hamish nudged Misty Moo. Groundhog says we turn here. I can't see very well, said Misty Moo. How will we find the water? 
We trust Groundhog, said Hamish, swinging his head from side to side. He wasn't afraid, but he wasn't comfortable being outside the fence. He liked his barn. He wished he was there now, asleep. The two highlands walked and walked. Hamish and Misty Moose said hello to a deer grazing in the cornfield. Where are you going? The deer asked. We're going to find where the moon lives, Misty Moo answered. The deer nodded. So are we. Finally, Hamish and Misty Moo came to the big water. The highlands stood and stared. The water was never ending. It stretched up to the sky, just as Fox had said. Fox appeared beside them. Now get ready, Hamish, he said. Get ready. He pointed. Look over there. Hamish and Misty Moo looked. Slowly, the white light of the moon spread across the big water. This is where the moon lives, Hamish whispered. The big round moon rose up from its watery bed. It went higher and higher into the sky until the water and woods were all aglow in the moonlight. Hamish and Misty Moo could see the woodland animals and birds gathered on the shore. The deer waved to them. Fox grinned. This is wonderful, thought Hamish. Hamish and Misty Moo watched as the moon rose higher and higher. I love adventure, whispered Misty Moo. Suddenly, Hamish remembered Groundhog's warning. Misty Moo, Hamish snorted. We have to go. We must hurry back to the farm. Why? asked Misty Moo. I love the big water and the moon, Hamish. Can't we stay? No, said Hamish. We have to leave now or Farmer Mark will see the broken fence. Hurry, Misty Moo. As Hamish and Misty Moo trotted back up the road, the woodland animals called out, Hurrah for Hamish and Misty Moo! Hurrah for your adventure! Hamish could see the red glow of dawn on the horizon. He was getting tired. Misty Moo said, We have to hurry, Hamish. It's almost morning. The two highlands could see the farm in the distance. The sun was over the trees and the birds were singing. Hamish could hear the rooster crowing. The sheep were coming out of the barn. Just as Hamish and Misty Moo stepped over the broken fence, Farmer Mark opened his front door and headed for the barnyard. He could see all the animals were awake. Then he saw the fence. Oh no, said Farmer Mark. I'll have to fix that before any of the animals get out. Farmer Mark called for his family. They all worked together. Let's put in another post, said Farmer Mark. Then he saw hoof prints on the road. He looked over at his favorite highlands. I wonder what you've been up to, he said, scratching his head. Hamish and Misty Moo laid down in the straw by the barn. They were very tired but very happy. Hamish yawned. Oh, Misty Moo, I'm so glad you wanted to see where the moon lives. And then he closed his eyes. Soon both highlands were fast asleep and dreaming of their next big adventure. The end. Maybe.